Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Alicia, and this is Heart and Hand Creations and Events. Today, I'm going to finish up the doll, not the doll, <laughs> project number two, part two. I'm going to finish part two. It might be a part three, I'm not sure. Um, as I told you, I was going to show you how I made a t-shirt to put on this bear to make a, to come up with the thing, you know, the theme for Winnie the Pooh. Even though it's not Winnie the Pooh, but it's still a cute little bear, and he has on the, the, the red shirt, so we'll just use our imagination for that. And right now I'm going out here and set up to um, paint this gold, paint this block. I had already started painting on it. Ooh, and the mosquitoes got me already. And, uh, but anyway, so just hang in there with me guys, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, as you see, we're outside. Mosquitoes is on me, so we're going to do this real, real quick. Oh, I can see them. I can see them suckers. So we're going to spray this pole up a little bit more. Make sure. I'm trying to get some spots that I missed earlier. Especially down the seam of this box. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yo, I'm trying to work fast. The skeeters are out here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is let that dry and I'm going to show you what kind of letters I'm going to use. Be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back in the house and take the gloves off. And the letters that I decided to use are some letters that I already made because I, I'm not paying $1.20 nine or a dollar nothing for a, a block piece of block that's about this big not even I think it's maybe it's about as big as this for two dollars and some change at AC Moore I don't think so so uh, I have what um, is called foam paper cutouts my own uh, stenciled out there I'm just gonna use these I have plenty of them a bunch of them this is what I'll be using and I'll just cut out the um, the center of the the two part the two ends of the B to make it look more like a B and that's it because no there's no way <laughs> that have been for four B's at a dollar 29 that's what uh, five dollars and some change mm -mm. no I don't think so anyhow guys that's what I'm going to do as soon as that glue I mean that glue that paint dries out there and if, which will only take a couple of minutes I'm going to come back in here and I'm going to show you guys how I glue these on and go back out there and spray paint them all right and I'll be right back Okay guys, I am back and I have the inside of the bees all cut out and now I'm going to glue them on the box. And let me see, raise this up a little higher and go fooling with this thing again my setup guys <laughs> you should see it anyway the bees will be going on here just like that and I'm gonna glue it on and I'm trying to think should I glue it on with this glue no no time to be thinking about that now up for this and let's 
There we go. Now I'm going to put this, do the same thing on all the other three sides, and I'll be right back with you to finish spray painting it. Okay, guys, we're going to finish spraying this up, see how it turns out. guys and I believe I am finished as far as spray painting goes I'll see you back inside okay guys I am back to show you how the box looks with the bees I guess it's not too bad huh Does it look like a toy block to you? All right, guys. So that's what I have with that. And like I had described before, the filler that I was going that I'm using is the floral moss. And this goes. Raise this up in the air a little bit. Put the point down. Alright. And this is the moss. This is what it looks like. I'm just going to break it up so it can fluff out. And. I'm going to start putting it in on the inside of right I really probably don't have to use the whole thing but yeah I don't want any gaps and spaces so I'm going to use as much of it as I can, especially to fill up here in that middle part. I'm going to fill it up real good. Break this up a little bit more. Just around here. Oh, yeah. Just here. We are ladies and gentlemen and that's what we have So I'm going to finish embellishing it and what I'm going to use are these beads or like studs, they're not even beads, they're studs with an adhesive backing and I could just put this across the top here and down the sides and I'll be back to show you guys what it looks like. Okay, guys, here it is with the studs on it. I only put it across the top and down the sides where the gap was. 
where I told you I would put some of it. Stir it up. Okay. Now, next, what I'm going to do is show you how I'm going to hang the bear on. On this stick right here. And what I'm going to be using is wire. Okay, because I have it right here. I'm going to use gold wire. It'll be a little easier to match it up with the color of the stick. Wire cutters. I probably don't even need this much. But I'll cut that off real quick. I'm going to bend it up and the bear is going to hang on from the right side. I'm going to take this wire, put it around the wrist and I'm going to squeeze it together and twist a little bit there like that right I'll show you how it's on here twist it that way and I'm just going to since the bear is so fuzzy and then I'm just going to put him on here Ooh. And what I do is take these wire cutters and make this a little, not cutters, but like pliers, wire cutter slash pliers, and let them hang here. Just like that. Pull his sleeve over it a little. And there. And that's how the bear is going to hang. He's hanging on. Hanging on tight. All right. And next thing I'll be doing are the balloons. But if you know what, guys, I'm going to try out something that I just bought because I thought I was going to be doing a Sweet 16, and that turned out to be a bust. I wasn't able to um, accommodate the party because I actually only had like six days to get it done, and uh, that wasn't going to happen trying to get people to collaborate with me on that project, you know, on that event. And it wasn't too short a time, not enough time. So I couldn't come up with what the, with the uh, client wanted at the time, which is horrible. I feel bad that I wasn't able to uh, accommodate. And, uh, but that's, I guess that's how it goes sometimes. Um, all right, so where I'm at is, so I told you, this right here. Right here. So what I'm going to do is, this video is already 13 minutes long. I'm going to come back with part three and show you how I put this, how I'm going to work this. This will be my first time working it. I'm going to do it with you guys. And we'll see what happens. All right. And I'll see you on part three which should be the finish part three of project two we'll be right back and if you like what i've done so far guys give me a thumbs up or if you had any ideas of what i could have done for um uh for this box you know if you had any other ideas and uh just let me know in the comments below you know like share subscribe comment below and hit that notification bell so you can see part three or what part two part no project two part three all right guys see you when we come back thank you for watching bye bye